So it's Stevie G, Steven Gerard is uh, Gerard is not taking up the reins at Stadium MK. Um, I mean, he felt it was a bit too soon for him, but I mean, he's retired now and he's not really got much else going on. So I don't know what was too soon for him. To be honest, I did get an email from someone or a tweet actually. And they did say when Carl Robinson first came in, obviously he didn't really have a name. He was a very young manager, one of the youngest managers in the league. And he had John Gorman, you know, over his shoulder. Just sort of like uh, Steve Bleasdale and um, Ron, I'm not racist, Atkinson, but um, say racial slurs from time to time. You know, so maybe Stephen Gerrard wasn't such a bad appointment. Would Well, wouldn't have been such a bad appointment. I mean, the players would have definitely stood up and listened to him. Would have brought a lot more exposure to the club, um, possibly expanded the fan base, and I, I would imagine that a lot of Liverpool fans would then say, you know, MK is our second club, just based on um, you know Steven Gerrard's presence. But he he feels it's too soon for him. So, but I did also say that Carl Robinson, the Messiah, you know, my man, my man, you know, Denzel Washington voice, you know, Training Day and an American gangster and. If you, if you don't know the reference, just just click the video off. But he got himself a job. I did say that he wouldn't be out of a, you know, a job for a very long time. He wouldn't be out of a job long because a lot of people are after him. It's sort of like when you're in a relationship and you know that as soon as you and your girlfriend break up, well, before you and your girlfriend break up, there's someone waiting in the wings who's just waiting. Who's just waiting to, to swoop in. And if I'm being honest, fellas, if you want a bit of advice, it's one of your mates. I'm telling you that now. So don't ever take no advice from your mates telling them to break, telling you to you know, break up with your girlfriend, especially if she's oh, very, very good looking. But we're a bit off track here. So we'll just rewind um, and get back to what we were talking about. I can't really remember. What was I saying? Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's it. Carl Robinson. So he's ended up at Charlton. Big club in League One. A big club, well, you know, I don't know why he's gone and worked for those Belgians. Um, they have absolutely no idea about what they are doing whatsoever. But he probably felt he didn't have time to hang around. They're only 11 points off, um, you know, promotion uh, spots. No, no, actually, three points off promotion, I believe. This is off the top of my head, so forgive me. And 11 points off automatic promotion. So he needs to get straight in there and just... Do his thing. Influence what's going on and, and steady the ship and get them going forward. Attractive football is about to hit the valley. Simple as that. Um, I am envious. I am envious. I've actually been to the valley many, many years ago and that was to watch Jamaica versus Nigeria. Didn't really go too well for us Jamaicans, but what can you do? So, back to Carl Robinson. Um, I just hope he doesn't come back to MK and just start picking off players. But then again, I mean, even if he does, <laughs> it's not like we're really going to be missing any of him, is it now? You know, it's just not really, not really happening. Um, we are 11 points off a, a playoff spot. And to be honest, I do, I, I, I you know, because I still think Manchester United, you know, could can finish in top four and win the title. So I am optimistic because I know how these leagues work. You know, you can go on a good run. A good run, you can win three games. You could be from the relegation zone into the automatic promotion spot. So at the end of the day... 11 points off, not too not too bad, but we need somebody in. Richie Barker is obviously just not up to the task. And making that transition from your coach or your assistant manager being your mate to being your manager is very difficult. So we need somebody in. We need someone in. We need the right appointment in. And experience isn't always the way forward. We just need someone who's going to come in and be able to cut out these mistakes because that's what we're making mistakes. We're not getting to the second ball. Um, that, that second goal conceded against Chesterfield you know, need I say more? And time and time again, we're getting caught out with all the players on one side of the field leaving someone at the far post and the ball just being drilled across the six, um, the 18-yard box and somebody else getting on the end of it. And David Martin just isn't producing performances that you would expect of a goalkeeper. Not a League One goalkeeper, just a goalkeeper in general. So we do need somebody in. I am optimistic, but personally, at the same time, I think we should also plan for another season in League One and we need to stop trying to get by, you know, on benefits. Just p pathetic signings for zero money. Remember McNamee? You know, we don't need a repeat of that. So, yeah, this is the FM Republic. Get in contact with us. You know, email, tweet, everything's in the description. Let us know and bye.